So Abraham rose early in the morning and saddled his donkey and took two of his young men with him and Isaac his son and split the wood for the burnt offering and arose and went to the place of which God had told him. Then on the third day, Abraham lifted his eyes and saw the place afar off. And Abraham said to his young men, stay here with the donkey. The lad and I will go yonder and worship and we will come back to you. That is faith. Abram had faith. He had no idea what was going to happen there in Mount Maria, but he had faith in God. He trusts God. Even right now, the beginning of the year, we have no idea what's going to happen, what's going to happen for 2024. But when we have faith in God, when we trust God, when we leave everything to him, he will provide. Just as how he provides for Abraham, you know, that ram instead of his son. He know how dedicated Abraham was and how much he loved his son. However, he made that ultimate sacrifice to dedicate his son to God. But God in return provide that ram for him to sacrifice and so therefore for 2024 he will make the provision for us he's going to open doors and the same blessings that he gave unto abraham for all his descendants he said that he will bless abraham he will bless his descendants we are his descendants he's going to bless us he's going to provide for us so why worrying why are we so caught up in what's going to happen in the future if only we put our trust in god if only we put our everything that we have or every being in trust just as our abraham just god he will provide and i'm encouraging you guys to continue to trust god continue to look to him he's the urgent finisher of our life 2024 is a year a year of revelation a year of blessings god bless you all